The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Someone very close to me told me, happens to be a student of mine, a younger student of mine. Today he's a, uh, not a principal, but you would say like he's one of the um, assistant principals in one of the schools today. And he's very good with kids. And he learned the techniques over the years of how to reach the heart of a kid. He learned the techniques of what it means to reach before you teach. And to understand that the generation that we're dealing with today is very different, different than the generations of previous years. And how you have to earn a certain respect by the students and then capitalize on the good that you see in them. Trying to find something on the inside that you can build up and then build on. That's the secret of how to build people today. So this student of mine, who's this, one of the uh, assistant principals of one of the schools, he told me that uh, word got out that he's very good with kids. Word got out that he basically is the guy that when a kid is not perfect and not doing what he's supposed to be doing, he's the guy that steps in and he's what we call the lifeguard. He pulls him out of the waters of trouble and turns the kid around and puts him back on a dry path, on a good path. He got a phone call one time from a principal of another school. And the principal said, I have a kid in my school. I'm about to throw him out. But I know the parents well. So I have an issue. If I throw their kid out, I lost the friendship with the family that I know for many years. You hear the reason why he doesn't want to throw the kid out? Because of social reasons. Right, I didn't say that. We're on camera. Because of social reasons. He, he's a friend of the family. To throw the kid out, you have to meet the father and shul that Shabbat. It's not that simple, right? So he says, this kid I'm trying to help. But I don't know what to do with this kid. I don't know how to get the first base with this. The principal talking. So he called this guy, this assistant principal in another school, and he says, I hear you're really good with, with kids. Can you give this kid a few minutes? Maybe you can give us a, a few steps on a game plan of how to work with this type of a kid. The assistant principal says to me, Rabbi Dovey, when this guy called me, my heart dropped. Because this guy threw me out of school 25 years ago. And he didn't remember me because he called me by my last name, Rabbi so-and-so. And now he's calling me and asking me how to reach a kid before he throws him out. He says, you know what I told the principal? I'm going to come down to your school and have a meeting with you. I want him to see me in the face. Over the phone, he's not going to get me. So the principal said, Bechavod Rav, we would love for you to come down to the school. So speak to the boy a little bit. You'll give us a few pointers of what you saw work over the years. Maybe it'll help with this kid. The next day, this assistant principal goes down to this other yeshiva. He says, I walked into the office and the principal jumps up because he heard that this guy came. He comes running out of the office and he stops. And he looks at me, he says. This guy tells me, the principal looked at me and his jaw dropped. And he said, you? You? You're the rabbi that I called yesterday to come down to help me with this kid? I threw you out 25 years ago. And this guy smiles and says, that's right. And that's why Hashem made sure that 25 years ago, 25 years later, when it's time for you to make a big decision on another kid's life, you won't do to him what you did to me. And the principal's jaw dropped. He says, look how Hashem, what he did here. 
Ki nivhalu mi panav. He tells me that after he gave the principal all the tips and keys of what to do and what not to do and how not to destroy a kid and how not to destroy a family and what to do before all that what needs to be done to turn the heart of a kid around. He says, the principal looked at me and said to me, tell me, what happened to you after I threw you out? How did this happen? He says that when you first walked into my office, I didn't recognize you. But then when I took a second look, I, I, I recognized. But he says, you have a different face. I could see you're a different guy. I didn't even recognize you at first. How did you become this guy when you were a devil, when you were a kid? And he looked the principal in the eye and he said, right after you threw me out, God had mercy on me and he sent me somebody to undo all the mistakes that you made with me. And that's why I'm here today to make sure that those mistakes don't continue on this kid. It's unbelievable. But part of the avodah is to understand the product you're working with. And if you don't get the kids of today and if you don't understand that a certain flexibility with a very warm unconditional love can reach a certain point where you could find something special in this kid and use that to build up and then to build on do you know how easy and how quick one can turn a kid around <laughs>